this way is I've gained uh, 92 subscribers over the past year and two months of being on YouTube so not a lot of people have watched my earlier videos so I'm gonna do basically this video got this idea from Yee Yee Dipper the they're newer guys on YouTube go check them out there Y-E-E Y-E-E -E Dipper young kids uh, but I watched their uh, video on their first dip ever. So I thought I would do a redo of, not really like a redo, but more of a kind of just a, for my new subscribers to watch where I, I first tried it and when I actually started. Um, I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. Um, I want to keep it under 10 minutes because I hate it. Anyways. Uh, back when I lived in Santa Cruz, California, um, I lived in these apartments, and uh, there was this property right next to us where a man and his, and his, his daughter lived, and uh, my brother would hang out with his daughter. And I'd go over there and hang out with him because I was a mature kid, and I didn't really hang out with people, anybody my age. So... I hung out with her dad. I was like 12 or 11, and um, I always noticed that he had these, these, um, these tins, these cans, or these pucks, you know. Um, he had a bunch of, like, school apple blend uh, laying around. Um, and he told me it was, it was tobacco, and they told me never to get into it, and look where I'm at now, so. Going on three years now. Anyways, um, so yeah, and then he walked out the door one day, and I, and I grabbed his tin and I uh, opened it up, put like a tiny little pinch in, and uh, didn't like it. Took it right out. Um, yeah, so that was that was my first dip ever. When I started doing it, like consistently, was summer after freshman year. Um, you know, like I had tried it before freshman year ended, and uh, I ended up throwing up from it. Um, and like that summer, you know, I kind of I, I would take pinches every once in a while, and then. Start buying my own tins. Um, funny story about this one though. Um, I went and uh, bought me a can of natural when I went fishing the other night or the other morning and uh, put in the bottom of my backpack and then I uh, got home, I fell asleep and then I woke up and right before I got on my computer I pulled them all out and bit and the tin. For my Copenhagen natural, it's cracked like so. So what I ended up having to do is taking one of my old grizzly tins and putting it in there. It, and the tin was unopened. The Copenhagen tin was completely unopened. I hadn't even cracked it yet. 
So that kind of sucked. But I ended up just taking the, the Grizzly stickers off of it and putting the Copenhagen lid on it. Um, one problem, though, is uh, taking this lid off is a bitch. And it fucks up, like, when I pack it, 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 it fucks it up. Anyways, guys. Um, well, you know, I, uh, inside of, like, why I dip, I just don't like smoking. I'm just not a huge smoker. I like the flavors. Sorry about that. Um, I just like the flavors. So, bite me. So, anyways, like I mentioned earlier, go uh, go subscribe to Yee Yee Dipper. A uh, bunch of young guys. Uh, go check them out. Um, I don't know how many subscribers they have, so. Uh, definitely go give them a subscribe and check them out. If you don't like them, so be it. But I don't know. Help them out. Also, go follow my uh, my girlfriend at Dippin' Sweetheart. She is on on YouTube now. So and she has two videos out. She has Copenhagen Wintergreen and Grizzly Wintergreen reviews. Um, so yeah. Follow me on uh, Instagram. I changed my name back to the original name, which is Byron underscore Hall 530. Catch you guys later. Take care.